The reason I'm running for House District 54 is that after I moved here in 1980, three years after that, we decided to go into business for ourselves. That'd be my father, my brother, and I. We had no backing. We had very little financial support, and that was all self-generated. And uh, we went into business, and the, the companies in the energy industry here were willing to give us a chance. The people that run those companies here in Wyoming uh, were willing to take a chance on us. And through a lot of hard work and a lot of sacrifice and a lot of long hours over the last 29 years, we've been able to make a success of, of our endeavor. Um, I think that I sit here before you as part of the American dream. I've been able to start with nothing and end up with, with more than I ever thought would, would be possible. I think everybody in the state of Wyoming has, should have that same opportunity. I think that we need to be very careful that we don't uh, have a, a an, I think that we need to be very careful that we don't have regulations or impositions by the state that stifle that type of growth, that people can, can have a dream and can fulfill that dream here in Wyoming, I know they can, and I want to make sure that the state doesn't interfere or impede that ability to grow. I think probably the biggest difference between me and, and the other candidates is that uh, probably is my business experience that I alluded to earlier. I, we've, I've been in business for 29 years. I've, all my employees have currently are from Fremont County. I hire them, I, and, and when I hire them, I think, that, I think that our employees ought to be able to buy a home. I think they ought to be able to educate their children. I think they ought to be able to buy a car. They need to send their children to college. I understand what goes into that. I, I know what it's like to generate business. I know what it's like to plan for times that are difficult and how to grow your company as the business climate warrants. Um, I think that that would be a very important thing to be able to take to Cheyenne as, as we try and deal with those same types of situation in the state. And as far as I know, I'm the only candidate that has, has those type of experiences. Well, I think the thing that makes me the right choice is, once again, is my business experience and that I've been, I've been very involved in the community. I've worked side by side with members of the community as we tried to work on education issues and get um, scheduling changes and credit changes in the school system. I've tried to um, lend support and resources as we built the um, Lander Nordic Skiria, Beaver Creek. I, I guess I feel like I have a feel for the pulse of Lander and, and the things that the people need. And I think that that's very important as you go to Cheyenne that you, I don't think you necessarily have to have an inside track when you get to Cheyenne. I think it's more important that you understand what the pulse of the community is. And I really feel that I do that, whether it's whether it's state workers or, or the agriculture business or the energy industry that I'm probably, well, that I know I'm the most familiar with. But I think with the association that I've had in Lander that I have a pretty good feel for what other people are doing.